Hello YouTube. Today I'd like to show you how to convert Easy Drummer 2 files into audio files. In the last video I showed you how to you how to do that by using buses and actually playing the MIDI files and recording them as audio. Today I'm going to show you how to actually export them, which is a lot quicker and this way you can get all your one-shot audio tracks converted very fast. So let's get started. I'm going to add an instrument track. Go down to Tune Track, Easy Drummer. Make sure it's a stereo out. Add track. After Easy Drummer 2 opens up, we will open up browser, go to Pop Rock or whatever you have, whatever you want to use, and we will pick an audition uh, drum loop or MIDI file. We will take that and we will drag this up to our track. We can close that out now. Just uh, listen to it, make sure it's here which it is, you can see that it's here. That's what I like to do is drag this file out a little bit. Now, you're only gonna do this if at the end of your song because if you don't, you may cut off the tail of like a cymbal or something that's supposed to ring out a little bit. So I usually drag it out maybe a half a bar just to make sure that I get my tail or you can go full bar at the end just like that right there so if there would be a cymbal hit you could at least hear that cymbal hit and ha have it carry out to the end of the, the loop alright so once you've got that done we're gonna go back to our Tune track Easy Drummer 2. Open that back up. And in the mixer section up here at the top, you want to make each one of these go to an individual track. Now you don't have to do all these because the only thing we have going to this right now is the kick, the snare, the hi hat, overhead, and ambient. Uh, I don't ever record the compressor or the reverb because I like to add those later. Um, I just basically do what the tracks of the, of the actual one hits that I, that I want recorded. I mean, you can record the compressor or the reverb. Um, I don't think you'll be happy with it. That's why I always just leave them off and simply just record without that. And then later on, I can add the verb and whatever I want, compress it and EQ it the way I, I want it. So we're going to make the kick number one, which is already number one. Snare number two. Hi-hat number three. Um, if we had toms, we'd go toms number four, but we don't. Uh, overhead number five. And ambient number six. Or no, we'll take we'll check we'll change that. We'll make overhead number four and the ambient number five. Everything else we can just keep on one because nothing else is gonna actually come through on that. Now if you would have Tom, you'd wanna give them an individual track, or if you wanted to record all these, just go one through sixteen. Um, and then you'll have sixteen tracks of drums. I just can't see having 16 tracks of drums when you only got five playing. So once you're done with that, so we have five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's it. We're done here. Now we come over here to the Easy Drummer here. And right here where it says Easy Drummer, these are the outputs. We select that and then we select one through five. like that now if you notice there's nothing here 
that if we go to our mix page, you'll see that we've got the drums set up right here. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> now it'll automatically make these stereo or mono depending on what you're using. So if you noticed on the Easy Drummer, uh, when we had this open, the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat are all mono tracks. The overhead and the ambience are both stereo. You'll need to have that, know that later. So now, all, all we need to do is export this Easy Drummer 1 to the, the actual audio tracks. So what we want to do is we want to set the locators. So you take these locators, put one there, that's your, your stop and your start. And then we go to File, Export, Audio Mix Down. And in this thing, in, in this, this window here, we are going to mix down the Easy Drummer 1, starting out. Because what basically is what this always says, Easy Drummer 1 here. Then you got 2, 3, 4, and 5 right here. So once we put the tick mark in this Easy Drummer 1, we'll change this to kick. And we just want to keep it what our actual project is, which is 48, 24 bit. Now, like I said, this kick is a mono track so we want to make sure it's a mono I always just put them in my project the test one that this is what it's called test one I just put it right in the audio audio folder you want to make sure the pool window is checked and audio track window is checked and then all we got to do is export Click OK. So now we have our kick drum down here. Then we just do the same thing for each one of these. So Easy Drummer 2, which is our snare. We want to change this to snare. Keep it everything the same. Mono, it's a mono. Um, export. OK. 3, which is going to be the hi-hat. Same thing, it's a mono down mix, everything's the same. Now, remember what I said, the EZ4 and EZ5 are both stereos. So this was our overhead. And we want to make this left and right channels. We don't want to do a split channel unless you want it to be two channels, one left and one right. Uh, left and right channels will be a stereo track. Then we export. And we go to the last one, Easy Drummer 5. We'll make this one ambient. And make sure it's a left and right channel. Export. Okay, now we're done with that. Make these a little smaller so we can see them here. Now, if we mute the Easy Drummer track, and you should be able to hear all the drums down here playing. And right there it is. Now, since we don't have a tail, you know, you can trim these up to three but like I said if we, we would have a snare hit or a hi-hat hit or a cymbal hit at the end of this we want to make sure that that we can hear it clearly end before the track stops if not you'll get like a popping or an abrupt end to the track 
Um, you don't have to do this if you're looping. If I was just looping this section from two to three, um, I could just loop it over and over and over again, and then on the very last one, drag it out a little bit. But that's how you do that. Um, it's fairly simple. You can actually delete this track, the Easy Drummer 1 now, and you'll still have your, uh, your drums play. It's fairly simple to do and fairly quickly. It takes just a couple seconds to do all your drum tracks for the whole song. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, go ahead and critique it if you want. And if you have simpler ways to do things, um, please leave comments in the comment section. And thank you very much.